So today we have this lamp. This lamp is a very old lamp. It's my grandma's lamp. As you can see, it's got um, <coughs> it's got two light bulbs. Originally they were 3.7 volts, but I'm not sure where to find them, so I had to put in 24 volt ones. That's I have a bunch of those. Originally it was powered by. Um, for D cells or C cells or whatever the size cells which had leaked at some point so the um, pieces of metal that were originally holding them and all that this entire construction here that's supposed to like provide contact and whatever was just not there some of the corrosion had gone on to this, um, this stuff here um, the switch the actual contacts that go to the back so this was all quite corroded and I had to um, clean it off this as you can see I even had to clean off this um, backing plastic which is the cover for it and it says um, something in German Entlande Zellen Sofort Herausenmen or whatever the fuck that means but uh, here you can see the uh, way it's supposed to be used. Focus, you fuck. Four cells. Put them on in. Screw that shit in. Auf, zu, open, close. I'm not sure what brand that is. PV. I'm not sure. Class 3. Something, something. ELN 13925. 431. Not sure. Not sure what that means. But as here it says. Zwerg Lampe 4.8 volts, half an amp. Zwerg Lampe 4.8 volts, half an amp. Four monocellen are 21.5 volts. So that's that's my knowledge of German uh, for the day. Anyways, I was looking uh, online how to. Um, I, have, I have basically a bunch of these MT3608 converters. But they have a 1 milliamp, 1, 1 point something milliamp waste in current. And as you can see, I want to use this just with a simple cell for uh, ease of use, ease of charging, and uh, in a battery oriented device, you cannot have a 1 milliamp standby current, not, well, not with a single cell like this. And uh, I found this this uh, lovely Russian person, Akakasyan, or whatever his name is, and he has this. Uh, circuit right here so this is the board itself what you do is take a PMP transistor you take a 1k for the base you take a shunt and then you uh, take a 51k to pull the enable pin of this chip down so you pull it, pull it down so it's normally off and then when current flows through the shunt it turns on this transistor and that um, transistor conducts a positive voltage to the enable pin, enabling the chip. Now, there was, rather, there is some guy here. Make this easier to use, set up two silicon diodes in series in place of RX. And then, that just, that's just fucking chef's kiss. Like, you know, okay hand, beautiful, absolutely amazing. Uh, solution that's what I did so I used this ancient transistor of Soviet origin let me see if I can focus you fuck it's an MP116 and then you have these two of these uh, ZS70 Ferranti diodes made in UK probably in the 70s and uh, I, don't, I don't use these vintage components for any other reason, just because I have a bunch of them. For example, I have like a lot of the PMP transistors, these are not nothing special. I have really low gain, really terribly spec, but for like simple switching stuff, if you need a PMP, BG, BJT, you're done. And if you need like 70 volts, 700 milliamps, boom, you're done. This is just some resistors I found uh, randomly, like this one, this one's like half burnt or whatever, god knows from what that is. I don't know, honestly. And um, that's about it. Did a bit of a restoration on this as I said. Really, not 
that good of a light, but it's got it's it's actually a really nice case. You can I guess you can put some LEDs on it, but I didn't want to go all the way and uh, ruin it. I just wanted to do a little restoration, electrical restoration. Mm. Other than that, uh, not much can be said. The switch is terribly simple, as you can see. It can either it's like a cam, so like it's boom turns one on, turns the other one on, and that's it, on the front, you can remove, you remove the actual lens, and then in the lens there are the lights, that's it, but this stand can be also separated in half, so it's like, um, you can have it sit on a table or on a surface, or you can hang it, or you can carry it by your hand, by your hand. it's actually a beautiful design, of course, it's also absolutely ancient, so yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I will definitely see you next time. Probably a shorter video.